Hello friends, once again, welcome to Tech with us. Friends, algorithm design is the part of a software developer's life. There are few standard algorithms are available. The idea to learn this algorithm is not just to pass the exam. But if we try to understand the core logic and working principle behind these algorithms, it will help us to brainstorm and design such algorithm for our assignment also. So with this said, I am going to start this video tutorial series on algorithm design with the simplest sorting algorithm and then we will see more complicated ones later in this series. So let's try to understand the concept behind bubble sort. Bubble sort is the simplest sorting algorithm with few lines of code. It just compare the adjacent element and if they are not in order, it swap them. Depending on the needed output order, ascending or descending, it bubbles the largest or smallest element respectively to the top or end of the list. Let's try to understand this with some examples. Let's say we have an array of six elements which are unsorted. Bubble sort runs in iterations. And the purpose of each iteration is to push the largest available number towards the end of the list. These iterations are called a pass here. So means after first pass, nine will be moved to the end. And similarly, after the second pass, seven will be moved. Each pass contains multiple comparison operations of adjacent elements. In the first pass, it will compare seven with five. Since seven is bigger than five, it will swap both numbers. In the next comparison, 9 is already bigger, so no swap needed. It simply moves on to the next comparison. So now I think it will be clear that in the next three comparisons of 9 with 3, 2 and 4, swap will be needed. And with each swap, 9 will be pushed towards end of the list. In this list of 6 elements, we need 5 comparisons. So in the list of n elements, we need n minus 1 comparisons in each pass. Now before the second pass starts, we know that the last element of the list is already sorted. So we have only 5 unsorted elements now. And for this 5 elements, we need 4 comparison operations to bring the largest number towards end. So this will be the result of second pass. Similarly, one by one after each pass, array gets sorted and we need n minus one such passes. Let's see the pseudocode of bubble sort now. The algorithm is quite simple and consists of two for loops and one condition check for swap. The outer for loop runs for n minus one times and count the passes. And the inner for loop also runs for n minus one times for number of comparisons in each pass. The time complexity can be simply calculated by multiplying the number of pass with the number of comparisons in each pass. The time complexity comes out to be big O of n square. There is a small issue with this implementation. As we know that after each pass, the largest number of the list pushed out at the end. So as we move on, the array gets sorted. So in this case, we can skip those elements by applying this small change in the inner loop. But in this case also, the time complexity is big O of n square. As we have already seen, both average and worst case time complexity of bubble sort is big O of n square. And since there is no extra space consumed while running the algorithm, the space complexity is constant. Here are the few advantages and disadvantages of this algorithm. 
So in summary, bubble sort is a sweet and simple algorithm, but does not have a practical use case due to its time complexity. In the next video, we will try to brainstorm it and see if we can improve it. So thanks for watching and please share your feedback on this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel techvedas.learn for all upcoming updates.